Well, thank you for staying with News 19 and ABC's coverage of this historic election night. I'm Dustin Lukey. We'll be checking in with local updates here throughout the evening as we are about a half hour away now from polls closing in Wisconsin and Minnesota. Now, the Cooley region tends to turn out in high numbers, especially in a presidential year. As you can see, voters casting their ballots today at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse. Now, on top of the presidential race, there's a key U.S. Senate race in Wisconsin, plus local congressional, state Senate, and assembly races all up for grabs. And we've got team coverage for you throughout the evening, uh, starting this evening at the education level, as we've got a number of school referenda also on the ballot. News 19's Chandler Brindley is here with a look at one of those races we're watching tonight, Chandler. Well, that's right, Dustin. Like many of the schools we are watching tonight, the school district of La Crosse has a capital referendum on the ballot. The district is asking for the merging of Emerson and Spence Elementary Schools into a new building on the Hogan Administrative Center site. The district is also asking to combine Hinchin Elementary with State Road Elementary with an updated State Road facility. Now, the total cost of this referendum will be just over $53 million. This would be a 44 cent increase over the current mill rate, according to the district. And Dustin, there are 11 schools in our coverage area that we will be keeping close tabs on over the next few hours. As those results roll in, thank you, Chandler. And coming up, we'll hear a little later on from some of the area superintendents talking about the referenda on this election night. And we are going to check in now with our local watch parties. A historic site on a historic night, La Crosse's Concordia Ballroom playing host to the Democrats in the area tonight. And that's where we find News 19's Heather Armstrong. Uh, Heather, things just getting underway. Give us a sense of what people there are feeling. Well, Dustin, let me just tell you, first of all, history could be made. According to the Dems tonight, they're saying the first time in 14 years the Assembly could flip tonight. Who knows more about this than uh, the chair of the La Crosse Wisconsin Democrats, William Garcia. Why is this such a big night? So because of fair maps, the ruling from the Wisconsin Supreme Court that came down last year, Every assembly member in Wisconsin has a brand new district that is a lot fairer. Um, it means it's more evenly divided between Republicans and Democrats. And because of that, we have a real chance for the first time in 14 years to see a Democratic assembly in Madison. All right, that's exciting stuff. And you know what? If people are wondering why La Crosse, why all these big visits, Walls came here, because guess what? They're saying this is the first time that we can possibly flip the presidency, the House, the Senate, the Assembly. So a big night for Democrats. Yeah, a lot on the line. Thank you, Heather. We'll check back in with you in just a bit. Meanwhile, the 3rd Congressional District race you mentioned, Republican incumbent Representative Derek Van Orden will be watching the results come in tonight at the Cargill Room in La Crosse. That's where we find News 19's Roger Staffaroni. And uh, Roger, how have things started out there? Well, hello, Dustin. We are here at the Cargill Room downtown La Crosse, and things have begun. People are starting to flow in. Again, it is just getting underway. Uh, Congressman Van Orden not here yet, but he will be here for certain. It is a very competitive race this year, as you know. Uh, they have spent $12 million between the two candidates, the other candidate being Rebecca Cook. So we look forward to talking to the congressman a little bit later. But until then, we'll give you a quick glance. There are some people starting to come on in and relax. And uh, the overall vibe is I think they're ready to have a good time, uh, all the hard work put in, and enjoy the evening as those numbers start to come in a little later. Yeah, ready to watch those results. Thank you, Roger. Now, uh, Van Orden's challenger, Democratic congressional candidate Rebecca Cook, is holding her own watch party at the Lismore Hotel in downtown Eau Claire. We hope to get a look at that at some point this evening. And we'll check back in uh, once again just before the polls close, a little bit before the top of the hour. Of course, you can stay up to date with all of the results and what we're watching as it happens at WXW.com. For now, we return you to ABC News. Your voice, your vote. Coverage of this 2024 election. Thanks for staying with us.